In order to really understand the frame of mind of Jesus' day, we have to understand a few things about the ultimate Roman torture. The Romans reserved crucifixion for only the most heinous of crimes against the empire. It was usually insurrection of some kind. It was a death penalty so awful that the Roman citizens themselves were exempt. Uh, they never even talked about it in proper conversation. It was both physical and psychological torture. The recipient was often beaten and bloodied uh, prior to that, just short of death. And they were publicly led to their cross. Uh, their crosses were prominently displayed to ensure maximum shame. The recipients were attached to the cross with nails through their feet and through their hands. They were stripped naked and they were spat on. Uh, they were um, uh, constantly degraded and dehumanized. Their death was not slow. It sometimes took days uh, before a recipient would suffocate from the weight of their own body on the cross. If time was of the essence, they might have their bones broken. Sometimes they were lit on fire. The whole time, of course, insults are being heaped up on them. And this was so that this was something that everybody in the first century knew about. And so we should be shocked that Jesus himself voluntarily spoke about taking this death upon himself as his own chosen end. And it's not that Jesus was killed this way against his will. He knew about it long in advance, even before the world was created.